Every time I use this vacuum in a video, the comment section gets flooded with questions asking about my opinion on this DC44. More specifically, I get asked what vacuums do I use in my home for particular tasks. So as a fitting follow up to last week's popular house tour and apparently a mutual expression of cornbread love, we are going on a vacuum tour. As you can see, I have four vacuums that I use in my house. I know a lot for someone that doesn't like vacuuming. And while I'm fully aware of how opulent that is, it's also handy because at least I can show you the pros and cons of each vacuum and ideally help you make a purchase decision on a vacuum if you're looking to get one. Now we already have reviews on the Dyson DC44 Animal and the Bissell Liftoff Deep Cleaner and I'll also include links to all of the vacuums I'm talking about today in the description box below for you to click or tap. Let's start with this one, the Dyson DC44 Animal because it's so darn popular. So the reason I picked this is because it is small and compact, it's lightweight, it's got a 20 minute battery life, which could also be seen as a con, but I'll cover that in a sec. It's very small, but it handles big messes. It's easy to carry around. It's got a lot of good attachments. They're good quality, including a mini power head, which is also why it's called the animal. And it's also got an extension wand. And some of the cons that come along with the Dyson DC44, a lot of people complain about the 20 minute battery life. I'm of the mind that if you know what to do in that 20 minutes, you can actually really make it work for you. I've made it work for me, but some people find it really difficult, especially if this is the only vacuum they have in their home. The other con I would have to say is the price. This one comes with a hefty price tag. And while I understand that it's not in everybody's budget, if it is in your budget, I would say it's definitely one to consider. And why I would pick this over a stick vacuum, which is also a small portable vacuum, is because of all the attachments. Um, I find it to be a lot more flexible, so that way I can use it for a variety of tasks, whereas a stick vacuum can only be used on floors. Now this is the vacuum that we bring out to do our full pop vacuuming, my Dyson DC23. And while they don't sell this particular model anymore, they do sell newer iterations of it, so I expect that you would get the exact same, if not better, technology and quality in one of their newer pieces. It's very powerful, has a large capacity canister, of course it has the Dyson Cyclone technology, and all in all, it's one of the best vacuums I've ever owned. Now, a couple of the cons that come along with the Dyson, again, first and foremost, the price tag. They are a lot more expensive. And secondly, we've had an issue with the power switch on ours, so you really have to jam it down with your foot. And I would say another issue that I have with the Dyson is that it's just, it's big. You know, it's the, even though it's a canister, it's big. I personally don't like vacuuming because I just find it to be uh, a very tenuous process. There's a lot of pieces and things and carrying and, you know, I think with the Dyson it's a really great unit and inherent to it is a lot of technology, but that also means a lot needs to be carried around. The next tool in our floor care artillery is the Bissell Liftoff Deep Cleaner. And we pull this out every six months or so to give our carpets a really good deep clean. This is a very powerful vacuum with excellent suction. Of course, it's a wet dry vacuum. So you depress a button, liquid comes out, it cleans your carpet, you release that button, you vacuum over the area a couple of times, and the vacuum suctions up the water as well as any dirt living in your carpet. Another very cool feature is that the entire vacuum can essentially lift off from its upright base, making it easier to tackle stairs and other tight spaces. We've used this several times. It's really cool. This vacuum's got a really wide power head, which means less work for you in the long run. It's also got side bristles and it's got a really large bristle brush. And that's great because it means this machine is working extra hard. Those thick bristles are digging into the pile of the carpet and dragging out dirt, dust, hair, allergens, and everything else you don't want in there. 
Now some of the cons with this machine, you can tell it's big, it's bulky. There's a lot that you have to carry up. So if you're a lightweight, you're definitely gonna need some help or you might struggle a little carrying this around the house. Other concerns, you have to use the Bissell Specialty Product Shampoo that they provide for you for this machine. And if you don't like it, you're kind of stuck using that. And if you use something else, you can void the warranty on the machine. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. The other thing is, it does take a little bit of getting used to. You certainly have to practice and get acclimatized to how the machine works and how much pressure to apply. But once you get it, you get it. And finally, we have the I don't need to vacuum vacuum. This is the iClebo Arte, and it's my very first robot vacuum. I love my iClebo because it vacuums and I don't have to, which is great, and it actually does a pretty good job. It's perfect to have around the house to help maintain clean floors in between your full vacuums, especially on hardwood and tile. What this means is it prolongs the amount of time you can go between vacuums because it's constantly working at removing debris, dust, hair, whatever else lives on your floor, so you don't have to bring out your big unit. But there are a few drawbacks. The first being the cost. Not surprisingly, robot vacuums are not cheap. And while the iClevo is one of the more affordable models, they are still pricey. Remember, this doesn't replace your full-size vacuum. This is a good vacuum, but it's not a great vacuum. So you're still gonna have to bring out your full-size vacuum to clean the floors every now and then. This is just really good for maintaining and reducing the amount of work you have to do on a regular basis. I just want to reiterate, I'm doing a vacuum tour for you guys, so I'm showing you what I have in my vacuum war chest, but I don't expect you guys to have all of this in yours. I need it because this is what I do. But you guys can hopefully use the information that I've given you today on this vacuum tour and ideally make some sort of purchase decision based on what suits you the most. Some of you might be wondering if I have been paid to do this video because I know that comes up in comments sometimes and no, I wasn't paid to do this video. My goal again was just to show you what I had and share with you the best uses as well as the pros and cons for each of the units. It's time for another Clean My Space poll. So ladies and gentlemen from around the world, tell me in the comment box below what vacuum do you have? Do you like it or do you hate it? And if you don't have a vacuum, what vacuum do you really, really want? There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you like this video. And if you're interested in starting a wonderful cleaning journey, why don't you hit the subscribe button, which is right over there, to catch more of our cleaning videos each and every week. Remember, we'll put links to all products and videos mentioned in this video down below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.